Whether a canine or a feline, Petersburg Animal Care and Control stays busy. They have treats in there and they know it, so they can't wait to get in there. The shelter, though, is tight on space and on a tight budget. We have a, a very small budget to do a whole lot of things with, and we're working hard to get all those bases covered. In Prince George County at Disputana Animal Hospital, she knows right now we have a need. Dr. Kim Eaton is working to help Petersburg Animal Shelter be able to provide better medical care. We're trying to start some fundraising for them so that they can work with getting preventative things done. Better medical care means a better chance at adoption. There's information that if we find out ahead of time makes it easier for animals to get adopted, like whether or not they have heartworms, whether or not they have parasites, um, whether or not they have ear infections, things like that. If they were already tested for those things and the new owner kept them on the preventative medications, then they would do fine. They'd never face those high dollar costs. Financial donations for the Petersburg Shelter can be made through Disputana Animal Hospital, but it's not just financial help the Petersburg Shelter needs. Crates, carriers, um, food items, towels, blankets, things that we use every day. We wash 12 to 15 loads of laundry a day. Those items can be dropped off at Animal Control's building on Johnson Road. Again, financial donations will go through Disputana Animal Hospital and the Petersburg Animal Shelter also in desperate need of cat litter. Working for you, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.